Всем привет, я рад приветствовать вас у себя на канале. И сегодня мы на выставке Superbus 2023. Вот так вот выглядит Polyant Mini Tracker. So the differences between the new Polyant Tracker Mini and the original tracker that we have are that it's completely battery powered. We have eight hours of battery life, four times more memory, so you can fit more samples on it. And also we have support for stereo samples, not just through uh, manually putting samples into the SD card, but also with the stereo line in. It's also not so heavy, right? It's definitely very lightweight. It's made to be portable and so that you can make an album on the go. Okay. Только что послушал драмлог от компании Quark. Понравился мне он. Мне понравилось то, что у нее есть отдельные ручки громкости на каждом канале. Звучит экспериментально. Но если, например, смешивать с какой-нибудь классической драм-машиной, с типа 909, то мне кажется, это будет интересный. Также я сейчас увидел Polyant Tracker Mini. Мне показалось, что это игрушка в руках, которая была у меня. Она способная на что-то интересное, если посидеть, попрограммировать ее. Тем более секвенсоры идут там в вертикальном формате. Мне кажется, для тех, кто умеет делать такую музыку, это интересно. Другое дело, что это может быть неудобно, но тут уже, на самом деле, каждый сам может решить для себя взять большую полент трекер полноценный, либо вот мини. Хотя, может быть, и круто иметь их оба для того, чтобы использовать для разных задач. Также пообщался с ребятами, которые делают, знаете, такие есть контроллер 16N Filter Bank. Они вроде как DIY проекты, то есть их можно самому собрать, а можно уже купить готовые. Этот контроллер позволяет управлять CV напряжением через обычный вот джек, да, 3,5 для Еврорек, а также он по MIDI может управлять как MIDI контроллер и, по-моему, по USB, то есть там три источника можно использовать. Точнее, можно использовать его как источник для трех различных устройств по MIDI, по USB и по CV. Это удобная штука, я в свое время смотрел тоже на него. Сейчас я вживую, наконец-то, тоже увидел. И у конкурента у этой штуки был она, значит, Michigan Synthworks, я тоже на него смотрел, но там на, пан на передней панели у него был переключатель по вольтажу, там 5 э и 10 вольт. Но это удобно в случае, если вам нужен большой рейндж, да, то вы можете переключить. Здесь на, на панели этого не было, но э я сейчас увидел то, что на задней панели как раз-таки эти переключатели есть, то есть они внутри, там вырезаны в корпусе такие дырки, и получается, что они абсолютно одинаковые. Хотя я думаю, что у Michigan Network все-таки более по... поинтереснее в плане настроек. Some uh, eight tracks. This is eight tracks, eight samples. Okay. They can be short, but uh, 12 seconds. Mm -hmm. How I can put the sample inside? I need to record or just? Uh... You can. There's an onboard microphone that you can ah, use. Okay. Yeah, there's audio input that you can plug in your car, but also okay, the synthesizer as well. Yeah. Mono or stereo? The input is mono. Okay. Uh, you can put your samples on the SD card. Mm -hmm. And bottom, you can put uh, your samples on the USB flash disk. It has eight gigs of memory. Okay.
to any control semi zones as well. And not like invest a lot of time uh, to building something that only I want. <laughs> Привет, ну как дела? Я хожу тут везде, смотрю. Сейчас посмотрел один, один стенд, точнее, ну одну зону со стендами. Сейчас пойду в другую, здесь палатки, какая-то еда, но по-моему синтезатор там тоже есть. На входе стояли Teenage Engineering, приехали на каком-то джипе, они ну либо привезли его сюда. Очень такая у них интересная, своеобразная тусовка там. Девайсы эти, конечно, крошечные, и этот микшер, я, конечно, думал, что он все-таки чуть больше вживую выглядит очень крохотным. Ну и вот этот вот плеер, новый рекордер. Не получится все пощупать и посмотреть, потому что здесь столько всего интересного. Хотя бы просто увидеть бы все, не пропустить ничего. Хорошая погода, интересные люди. Пойдем дальше смотреть. могу сказать все классное все новенькое интересненькое особенно всякие дизайнерские штуки компактные синтезаторы крупные синтезаторы тоже интересные хочется конечно побольше потрогать устройства послушать их но для этого наверное будет второй день завтра в камеру скорее всего не буду брать
We have uh, two oscillators in one module. They're set up in kind of mirror image and they're nearly identical to each other. And um, in that layout, it's like a DPO or a 259, but uh, it's a spectral oscillator, meaning that instead of your um, you know, uh, analog waveform outs, you have even and odd harmonic outputs whose uh, harmonic content is set by your slide and focus controls. And then, of course, it's an oscillator with a uh, frequency control as well, right? So. Announce this model uh, yesterday. Uh, send us an email and we will um, add you to the list to be notified. So, so we have to find through the color. Which is very super powerful as a machine tool. And then. Um, Before you jump in that, to that okay. one, so you can, I can just show you, yeah, because yeah, sure. the navigation is totally different. Ah, really? From the other one. Okay. So, of course you have your heat port uh -huh. as well, yeah. still, uh -huh. uh, and what you are used to. Then. Uh, for, example, you for example, I use a yeah, clean boost or something. But here you have your digital effects. Yeah, nice. What kind of digital delay? You have a... Go back. Uh, you can go to the flow page. Uh -huh. Here you see. Uh -huh. Okay, this is the way. Heat, so this is the active, and active, and it's off, right? Exactly. Uh -huh. So like if you do, here is also because it's like that only you can switch things around. Nice, so well. nice. Then if you go to like a chorus, it's off now. Okay, now it's on. Yeah. So double tap. From okay. Off. But if you touch okay, cool. that one, oh, you lift it and then you can move it wherever oh, you want. Nice. Wherever you want. I can create, change what I like. Yeah. So heat, maybe you want that at the very end to like destroy everything. Yeah. Then you can add it. It, it, it looks flexible. Very flexible. Perfect. Then I'll just and then you, and of course, you have your mod, mm -hmm. or a, a mod page here. How many are you showing? Three. Perfect. Nice. So, uh, so you have one envelope following, okay. and three LFOs. Nice. And each of those have two destinations. Okay. So you can do crazy stuff. Yeah. What so, about the. And you can also. One, thi one uh, okay. good yeah. thing to know is that uh, if you go to the very end here, after all the LFOs, you have a matrix. Uh -huh. So you can set all. Your destinations here. Yeah, nice. What do you think about new electron stuff? Um, <laughs> it's quite interesting, I have to say. I'm not entirely sure where to kind of like place it, you know, um, end of the chain or effects or wherever. But um, yeah, I'm looking forward to checking it out even more. Do you know uh, half a year I bought, bought a normal uh, okay. now I hit, but now I'm set. <laughs> okay. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> you have the uh, Mark II or the normal one? Mark II, yeah, oh, yeah, wow, Mark okay. II.
Yeah, good. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Uh, yeah. What is it? It looks like DPO. It's Double DPO. It is a it is a dual oscillator like the DPO, nice. but this one's digital. Oh, uh -uh, okay. It's a it's a it's a it's a uh, spectral oscillator, and it's mm. under the Soundhack name. Okay. So it's a collaboration with Tom Herb from Soundhack. Mm -hmm. uh, we worked with Tom on the Mimeophone and the yeah, Morphogene. I remember and, uh, uh, Echophone. I remember the Echophone. Yeah. Yep, the Herb Verb, a uh, bunch of things at this okay. point. Okay. So. Um, so it's an oscillator that, um, <laughs> the dual oscillator so that runs only on one, two sides. Only one oscillator right now. It's, that was just one oscillator, wow. yeah. It's stereo. Well, it's dual, so ah, dual. you can set it, you can patch it like stereo, or uh -huh. you can patch it in series or well, parallel. Sounds, sounds like parafonic. Yes, yeah, so um, in the mode that we're hearing right now, I had... Yes. It, it outputs odd and even harmonics of, of, uh, of the fundamental. And I had detuned the even harmonics so that they're kind of creating an interval. A little bit of atmosphere with reverb or something. So uh -huh. I'll turn that off so you can hear it dry. To the other mode, uh -huh. you can switch between modes on on either oscillator whenever you want okay. to. But the uh, the uh, this is in what we're calling spectral amplitude modulation mm -hmm. or SAM. Let's pull that uh, real quick. So it listens to the input, you put mm -hmm. something into the input, and it will uh, use the slide parameter to decide what fundamental frequency it's listening for. And then it'll interpret this sound as a set of harmonics of that fundamental frequency. And it'll resynthesize them at the frequency you set with this control. You can any kinds of sounds will work in yes. it. Drum break. I'm in break. Right now. The hardware features two okay, inputs we'll and eight outputs of low noise, the, uh, high dynamic range. Uh -huh. Fully DC coupled digital signal yes. processing. What yeah. kind of codec would help us achieve excellent signal to noise ratio? The signal processing is achieved with. When it will, uh, will be available? This is shipping at the end of May. Okay. And it's going to be five ninety nine. Nice. Yeah. And it's uh, thirty four HP. Mm -hmm. Same it's size so as the Renee. Mm -hmm. it's, it, yeah, it's a big and big and powerful module. Okay. Uh, so now this is the main escalator of the charge system, or no? 
Uh, no, this no. system we just built to uh, demonstrate this at Superbooth. Uh, okay. Shared system we're still making DPO. and selling. Yeah, with DPO. Okay. DPO is still in production. Uh, this is the same the same uh, price as the DPO, okay. but we'll, so. we're still gonna uh, do both. Well, yeah, thank you so sure. much. Thank you very much. Appreciate you. So yeah, this is Strokes. So Strokes is a uh, sequencer, sampler, synthesizer, and group box. Take a look at the voices page. We've got eight voices. Each voice can be a sampler or one of the 16 built-in synth engines. The synth engines are bought from the instruments class. They sound really, really good, and they respond okay. really well to modulation. We've got stuff like FM, like classic analog shapes. But we've also got drum synthesizers, string models, things like that. I say they respond really well to modulation because on the sequencer page, that's where we do all the modulations. We have these four channels here. Each one has like an individual playhead. Okay. So they can overlap, they can phase, they can uh -huh. run in different directions, they can run right. backwards and forwards. You see here, as we step into this pad, it's advancing the sequence down here. And I can assign that control there to say the pitch of the bass drum. So now the kick drum pitch is being sequenced by this here. I can do that for any of the sound parameters, for any of the channels, for any of the voices. It's fully modular. Any so modular, yeah, any modulation source can be moved to any sound design parameter. 